Hey guys, happy Sunday. It is Sunday, May 10th, um, just after 3 p.m. I think. Uh, Mother's Day here in the United States and it's been a good one. The kids came over for brunch and we had waffles and mimosas and I got some really great cards and um, gifts from not only the daughter of the husband. I got some gift cards for places that have good online sites for creative supplies. Yay, always my favorite thing. So I hope you're all having a good Sunday. It's um, nice to have a nice peaceful day. My Corona hair is getting more and more obvious. <laughs> um, I do think I'm gonna have about that much chopped off the bottom when I can get in to get my hair cut. No, I'm not doing it myself, hello. Um, my hair is getting pretty long and Yeah, it's getting pretty long. Anyway, it's it's pretty long, and so I think I'm gonna have quite a bit of it cut off. It'll grow back, so I'm not too concerned. Anyway. Okay, so I wasn't sure I was gonna do this, but I'm going to do this. So I cleaned off my table behind me, which it was way past time to clean the tray system out, which is where I keep current um, small parts and bits that I wanna use or projects that I'm working on. I cleaned it off. I also cleaned out the round tool caddy. Um, there was a lot of stuff over here that didn't need to be. It does tend to sort of try to be a landing pad for anything that comes in the room. So, and plus I'm doing, still doing paper clips and of course watercolor, but I'm also doing a lot of stitching. So I wanted to make room for my little stitch toolbox and a few other small bits on here and clear it off. The things I knew I was never gonna use and are not gonna go back over here into the small bits bank. So. I have this, what size is this? Medium flat rate priority mailbox. It's full of all the junk and bits off of the tray. There's a lot of junk journaling um, supplies in here, papers, magazine images. There's some painted papers by me, at least two pieces of artwork of mine. Um, little bottles. Stencil waste. There is so much stuff in here. I've forgotten all what's in here. Anyway, it's going to be for sale. And um, if you're interested, I'll put it in my Etsy store. And um, you can, um, you know, pay for that. I'll send it to you. It's really heavy. I also have this, which I'm going to let go of. This is a adult coloring book kit. Um, that I put together quite a while ago, and I've discovered I really don't like adult coloring books. Probably the only one out there, right? Um, there are two small adult coloring books in it in here. Um, they're both the mindfulness coloring books, and I have had them spiral bound. There is um, two big sets of these colored markers, Stabilo markers, and then one small set of their neon colors. There's a bunch of, all of these are mini gel pens. There's also a box of color pencils. There's a pencil sharpener. So it's a complete adult coloring book kit uh, with the case, you get it with the case. And um, so that's also for sale. Um, I'm gonna list them in the Etsy shop. I'm gonna um, take some pictures, well, at least of the coloring book. Um, the, I already sealed the box, so I'll, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to list that one, but I'll find out. Anyway, the listings are below. If you're interested, um, let me know. And um, when they're sold, I'll mark them so. And yeah, it's been an interesting morning. I had to call the post office about 40 times this morning. Um, I think it was like 38 or 39. Anyway, because some packages that should have been delivered over the weekend were not delivered and then they were mismarked on informed delivery. One of them was marked that I don't live here anymore, which obviously I do live here. Um, and our local post office just doesn't answer the phone. And it's not a pandemic thing. It's just a our post office thing. Cause yeah, I had a problem with them a few months back before this whole pandemic thing started and I had trouble getting through to somebody then, so. And if my packages aren't in today's mail, I'll be driving down to the post office to speak to them in person and find out where they're at. All right, I'll be back. Okay, table cleanup is done. Rearrangement of said table is done. Um, and the um, junk journal art table cleanup mystery box 
along with the coloring book kit are both listed on Etsy. And I found a piece of artwork, well, two that I want to scan. So I found this one in a journal that I want to scan. I forgot I did that one. I love the way that turned out. And then um, this is one of the two I did in the kids art painting video. I'm going to scan that. The other one is in the junk journal mystery box. So anyway, um, I also found my traveler's notebook <clears throat> from December. It's May. So I'm going to finish that today. That's going to be a project today before I do any more slow stitching or anything. I also have to catch up my positive affirmation voodoo doll for a mission in, uh, Mission Inspiration and Mike Deacon's group. And I also have the vlog and a couple of other short videos I filmed with my phone um, that we're filming on now that I need to edit. So I'm gonna have lunch first before I do all that. And I'm gonna check the security camera, see if maybe I can see if the mailman's been here yet before I walk all the way down there again. All right, I'll be back. Did I say before that it's Monday? <laughs> I don't think I did. It's Monday, May 11th. I don't know if I did or not. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why we love where we live. This is like a couple blocks from our house. One of the many creeks. Yep. We just had some rain, so it's full. Very pretty. Hey guys, so it's, I don't know what time it is. It's Tuesday, March 12th, I think. March, holy cow, May. <laughs> I wish I could blame that, blame that on Corona Brain, but I can't. Uh, anyway. Hey guys, so it's just about two o'clock on Wednesday, 
May 13th, I think. Um, I think that's what day it is. I am um, doing blanket stitch on the rainbow piece. I finally got my thread in that I was waiting for. This is Lisbeth, Lisbeth um, Handy Hands, I think. Um, Lisbeth, size 10, crochet cotton, color 184. It's a rainbow. I will put the link to the site that I get this from below. I've ordered from them in the past, um, back when I did a lot more crocheting. Um, and I have a picture of my drawer of crochet thread, which is sorted in rainbow order. Uh, I'll put it here somewhere. Um, anyway, um, they sent me um, my stuff I ordered in a very timely manner. They sent me a couple samples of colors I didn't have um, that I was, fun fact, that I was looking at on their website but didn't order. So thank you ladies for sending that or gentlemen. Um, for sending me that. I appreciate it. I will be tagging them in this post. Um, but yeah, so I got um, my little spool of rainbow thread. So I am going to do blanket stitch around the edge of this rainbow spool piece. And then I'm going to, I do have one of my steel crochet hooks out. Um, and although it's been a while since I did any crocheting, uh, especially this little, I'm going to do something sim simple. I might just do single crochet around the edge with a little pico. I might do a shell stitch. I'm not exactly sure yet. I'm gonna play it by ear and um, we'll see what happens. And But I am gonna do a little bit of a crocheted edge on this and then this piece will be done. I did show in a clip I just filmed, whether you see it or not, I don't know, but I did cover the center of the spool with a leftover piece of batting just to, in the long term, protect the fabric against anything that might be uh, leaching out of the wood. Um, it will still be touching here, but this has been sealed. Um, so I'll be doing that to all the spools. I don't know if I need to, but you know, why not? And then, I don't know if I'll do, get to it today. I might have to wait until tomorrow, but this is the piece I just finished and I'm gonna add some words to this piece, which I haven't done yet. So I picked out three fabric words um, to add to this piece. And then I kind of have to decide if I wanna do anything with the edge. I might not on this one. I might leave it undone. I'm not sure yet, but we're gonna leave it sit for a minute while I finish the rainbow piece. I also took apart a uh, lace tablecloth I put together a very long time ago with a bunch of old pieces of lace and Lay's doilies and thing that, things that my grandmother made and my great-grandmother made, um, I inherited when my grandmother died. And we, in the new house, aren't using it on the table at all. So I, I had put it together in a way before that I could take it apart if I needed to or wanted to, which I did. So I sat today and took it apart. And um, these are some of the little pieces that I'm gonna be um, saving out to do with um, probably my next uh, slow stitch piece, probably on another spool. And we do have the spools for sale in the Etsy shop. And we have a couple of different fabric and trim bundles for sale in the Etsy shop. If you want to get into some fabric collage, you want to use it for junk journaling, you want to do some slow stitching. Uh, I'm collecting different things and uh, making some packages. Uh, if you're like me, you're having, you can't go thrifting. Um, I know some areas of the country things are open. Where I am, they're not. And maybe even if they are, you don't feel safe doing that. So I've been finding that I enjoy ordering things from the Etsy sellers. And for the most part, I'm getting really good service and good product and things are coming in a um, clean, sanitized, timely manner. And um, that's been sort of my saving grace for, for things. Um, you just, um, in a prior clip, saw me putting some fabric away um, I was running a little low on different colors of cotton fat quarters, and so I ordered some Tula Pink fabric, which I'm really enjoying not only her video tutorials on YouTube, but her fabric line is wonderful. I love her designs, and the quality of the fabric is really nice. So I ordered some fat eighths, which is half of a quarter of a yard, instead of half of a half of a yard, which is a fat quarter. Um, so it gives me enough to do a slow stitching project and have sort of a variety of colors, which is perfect. 
Anyway, I love the idea of being able to order all of these things from Etsy, which is what I've been doing. Um, so I am going to be making my own sort of um, fabric and trims section or slow stitch section in the Etsy store. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but I will link it. whatever it is. I'll link it in the description below. And as I um, go through my stash of things and decide what I just have too much of that I can package up for you all. Maybe it's fabric I've painted on or I've designed, which I have in the fabric bundles. There's some fabric I've designed. Um, maybe it's trims. Maybe it's some of grandma's lace in the packages I did today. There's some of grandma's lace in there. So um, I'm going to share the wealth and yeah, um, there is a link below and a coupon code. So I sure would appreciate the supporting of the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups. Um, we do, through the end of May, have stamps and stencils still on sale in the store. Um, it's just an inventory reduction. I'm not going to stop designing stamps and stencils, but um, we do need to have an inventory reduction a little bit. So anyway, I'm going to get back to blanket stitching. I'm going to turn some music on. I'm going to do some stitching. We're coming up on two weeks since we've been to the grocery store, so it's been like a week and a half or so. We need to go again. I don't know if we're going to go tonight or if I'm going to get up early and go tomorrow morning. I don't know yet, but I'll let you know. Not looking forward to it. <laughs> Either way, I didn't look forward to it before the apocalypse happened. Now I really don't like it. <laughs> All right, that's it for now. I'll be back.
Hey guys, it is 1.42 p.m. Thursday, May 14th. Don't get excited. Hello, I'm at the desk at the computer. Y'all should know this by now. Anyway, I've spent the entire morning making a bunch more uh, cloth masks and I'll insert a picture here. <laughs> I am giving away and or selling them to friends and family, um, as asking for compensation and the like. Um, for materials and things. I can't afford really to give them away too much. <laughs> um, but I'm doing what I can when I can. And um, there's a lot of m homemade masks out there in the community, wherever you live, I know. Um, but, but some of people I know have trouble getting them or have are not leaving the house because they have medical issues. And so they have trouble getting a hold of them. So they're mostly the ones I'm making them for. Anyway, I have, an in, I have a decent sized stash. I won't say large because there's people I know around who have bigger ones, like in the hundreds. So I don't have that many, but I have 30 maybe. Um, if you're interested and you want to uh, acquire a couple, let me know. Fabric patterns are limited. And I'll insert a picture here somewhere of the current ones I just did. There are a few other patterns, but if you're interested, email me. My email is down below. Anyway, I am going to cut up the scrap fabric into little bits. And there's some costumers and dressmakers out there that do this. Um, and then they use the, um, hold on, small bits of fabric and thread and whatever as stuffing. I like that idea and I actually have a slow stitch project in mind that if I can gather enough stuffing, like I want to show how to do it um, using what you have, like really, really using what you have. Um, some of the bigger pieces of muslin, I have a slow stitch spool project in mind. I might save some of these for, but a lot of them I'm just going to cut up into little pieces. So yeah. Anyway, that's my other thing for today. After I get the mail, it's raining outside again, but it is Portland, so what do you think uh, is gonna happen? You know, it's the land of much rain. So, anyway, that's it right now. You know, staying at home, doing art. It's all, all we can do, right? All right, I'll be back. I think the costumers call it cabbage. Anyway, it's a huge miracle that I got all of it into this jar that already had some in it. If it doesn't explode in, at some point, I'll be surprised. <laughs> anyway, cabbage. You can't even throw the scraps away now because you might need them for stuffing. <laughs> all right, I'm going to take a, take a break from the art room and go get the mail and then I'll be back.
Hey guys, I got another spool project done. I put this um, edging on this piece. Um, I had some of this, I still have a little bit left. Um, I think it's tatted handmade lace, if the camera will focus. A vintage piece of lace. Um, I'll share with you my little stash. I said before that um, in a video or a vlog or something, you know, I started out my creative life um, in stitchery and seamstressing and both my grandmothers were seamstresses on both sides of the family and my dad's side, I'm second generation Italian, FYI, and um, they all um, hand stitched and crocheted and tatted and knit and machine sewed, all that stuff, all those old world um, embroidered and all of that stuff. And I learned how to do that when I was um, from a young age. And that's how I started out my creative life was doing stitchery. And over the years, as I've done purges of craft things that I've tried and I don't enjoy anymore, um, the one thing I usually don't purge very much of is the sewing needlework. Um, that includes my collection of vintage trims and vintage threads. I wasn't quite sure why I'd hang on to ground the sewing box and all her old vintage threads. Um, but I've discovered the a love of silk buttonhole twist. I've said this before on my channel. I didn't know where I was living that I didn't know about silk thread and silk buttonhole twist. Um, but I enjoy it. In fact, I used up a whole spool of grandma's buttonhole twist. Um, so yeah, that was a lot of fun. I, I used it up on this one. And hang on one second. If I can get you here a good picture. Um, these two large jars are from my family's um, store. They, my family, when they first came to the United States, had um, um, a store in San Francisco. And actually the other side of the Italian family, which is also second generation, I'm second generation on that side too. Um, they all had a store also. That's how the families met. And they were in produce and the grocery business. And these are from there, I think. Uh, my grandmother also had a lot of friends in the restaurant and deli business. So when she passed away, I found three of these in her stash. Um, one is um, living with my sister, Elizabeth. Um, I've saved my two and I've filled them up with vintage trims and over the years I have not purged anything from them. In fact, there's probably things in here I've forgotten about, but as I am doing the slow stitching thing, I am going in here periodically and pulling trims and things out. I have them stored on old fashioned wooden clothes pins for the most part. And um, when I need to, a trim for something, I go in here and I look around for something that'll work. In fact, I see a couple of trims. If I'm not mistaken, that might be from my wedding dress. Yes, I made my wedding dress back in the day. Um, so anyway, so I keep them in here. Um, yes, they're in the window and that's probably not great for them but they've been in, in a window for a long time and I'm facing the, the woods near my house and there's not, trust me, this is Portland, Portland woods, there's not a lot of sunlight. Um, so they're fine and if anything gets a little faded, well, that's just distressed, right? So I've got velvet ribbons and I've got vintage ribbons and new, new things, they're all mixed together. Anyway, that's a fun way to store them and then on top of them live this, that's all um, stick pins, decorative stick pins. And this one is just sewing straight pins. And um, as I'm doing the spool projects, I'm pulling out some of these decorative stick pins and that's what's what I'm holding it together with on the spool. I figure I might as well use them, I have a lot of them. So anyway, I'm enjoying rediscovering, you know, some of these things over here. Um, that I've saved over the years and that I loved and I didn't have the heart to get rid of and now I know why because I wanted to use them on future projects so that's a lot of fun. Anyway, it's probably pretty late and I probably ought to think about cooking dinner. Maybe. All right, I'll be back. I haven't started dinner yet. <laughs> um, I wanted to talk about him really quick. So this is the Bad Boss Voodoo doll I got at Goodwill a few months ago. 
Um, and when this whole pandemic apocalypse thing happened and Mike Deacon over in Mission Inspiration started putting out his quarantine quickies um, as an art prompt for people when they're shut in, um, uh, um, I immediately thought, well, let me turn the quarantine quickies into some kind of positive affirmation word. I can transform my little doll into a crazy positive aff affirmation doll, and which is what I've done. And he's, boys, he's running out of room. I'm going to run out of space pretty soon. I have noticed on here that there's at least two words that are on here twice, laughter and comfort. I think those are the other only two. I couldn't be wrong. Um, evidently, I need those two really bad because they keep popping up. Um, strength might also be on here twice. So that's interesting. It's my subconscious trying to tell me something. <laughs> anyway, if you want to join Mike Deacon's um, Facebook group and um, get his art prompts, his mission inspiration prompts, and be part of his community over there, I'll link his group down in the description below. Of course, my two Facebook groups, My Creative Year and A Life of Art and Self-Expression, also have daily um, drawing and art prompts in them all the time. And My Creative Year has um, video tutorials that only are seen over in My Creative Year. So anyway, um, for which I need to film one more for me. Uh, anyway. Um, Good morning. I think it's still morning. Yeah, 11.46, technically it's still morning. Uh, Friday, March 15th. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, okay, we got the ballots dropped off. We got the package with masks in it mailed off to my sister. We found out that the little PO, PO, the little post office in the um, stationery store around the corner from our house with where our, my business PO box is at is actually closing and moving as of September. And when the store reopens, there will no, no longer be a post office in it. So I need to get a new PO box, which requires going down to our main post office, um, which doesn't have the best customer service record. Well, this is post office. Yeah, and so that's gonna be fun. So I'm gonna have to... Hey guys, we're out walking. Uh, the kids came over for dinner and we have Lily uh, with us. We're trying not to get her. We're trying to get her to not eat grass, but you know, it's an effort and futility. Anyway, I got the old Happy Mail address deleted out of all the videos today. I was able to use the bulk edit feature. Thank you, YouTube. And I'll be going tomorrow to go get the new P.O. box. Um, I'll add that when I have it. Anyway, that was an unexpected surprise today. I'm gonna be working on some more slow stitching. I set it up today. I'll put a picture here with the birds. And yeah, it's been a quiet day, but that's good. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Saturday the 16th of May. It's sometime in the morning. I don't know what time. The car is not on. I don't know. It's 1030-ish, I think. Anyway, we went to the main post office here in town and got a new P.O. box for the um, Art and Etsy business because, as I said, I think yesterday that my little postal office annex is closing. Um, I did find out last night that the lady who ran it passed away and the uh, little card and gift shop that it's inside of is moving, but they're not gonna move the post office. All very sad news. But anyway, I got a new PO box, so we'll be changing everything up today. And then I need to go sometime next week to the old PO box and turn in my keys and all that stuff. So the husband- Taking is a little walk to the mailbox to check and see if the mailman's been here yet. I've just been puttering around the house since we got home. We are going to order takeout from a restaurant we've been meaning to try since before the apocalypse started <laughs> and um the husband asked earlier what's the worst that could happen and he should know better than to ask me that question because without even thinking or batting an eyelash i said food poisoning with a dash of covid19 
and he gave me the side eye and rolled his eyes at me. All you wives out there who have husbands that do that, you know, or maybe husbands that have wives that do that, you know exactly what I mean. Um, yeah, so that was a thing. <laughs> anyway, we ordered our food and we are going to go pick it up. We just ordered some basics like shrimp chow mein. If they can't do that right, then I give up on them for the other stuff. Um, up, I will insert a text message or picture or something here and let you know I'll know how the food was and at this point I don't know but in editing I'll put something and uh, yeah it's been a fun week I've really enjoyed um, slow stitching and uh, finding new things to do at home and although we haven't gotten as much walking in as we would like because it's storming here again in the Pacific Northwest because you know land of much water is Portland um, I still managed to lose three pounds. Not sure how I did that, but yeah. So anyway, hope you've had a good one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out the video description for ways to the, support the free content here on uh, the YouTube channel, along with um, the new Happy Mail address. We had to switch PO boxes. So the new address is down below. If you want to send me Happy Mail, I would, I enjoy Happy Mail. So, you know, um... All of your favorite creatives here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups all have ways to support them, whether it's an Etsy shop or a Patreon or a PayPal tip jar, myself included. So check out mine. If you can support, I would appreciate it. But also go to your favorite creatives and check it out and see if they have a way. If they don't, ask them because they might have one and they just don't advertise. Uh, that's it right now. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys.